Hey everyone! Today I'm going to show you how to make this bucket hat for a stuffed animal. Bucket hats are super popular these days and they're pretty easy to make, so let's get started! I originally wanted to make this for a Beanie Boo, but it turned out a little bit big, so the patterns I made I'm going to have to adjust, but I'll link those down below along with a Build-A-Bear sized one. Now it is time to cut out all my pieces. For this thinner arc, which should be the biggest piece, I want to cut out four of these. You could fold the fabric over four times, but I'm just going to fold the fabric in half to cut out two at a time, so I'll do this one more time after this. But for the other pieces, I only need one of the circle and two of that wider arch. While I'm working on this, I want to let you all know that I'm going to be doing a live stream on Saturday, September 4th, which is next Saturday if you're watching this video the day I posted it, and I will probably have it at 9am Pacific time. This one will be dedicated to meeting my stuffed animals who you've probably seen in tons of my videos. So I'll go through each one talking about them and their backstories. Plus you can ask me questions and we can just hang out together. After all these fabric pieces are ready, I'm gonna cut out one more thing. And for that, I first have to trim one of my patterns, but you won't have to do this because in the printable version, I'll have this separate. Now I need to cut out two of these from a piece of felt. Adding felt to the inside of the brim will make sure it's sturdy and doesn't flop over easily. Usually something called interfacing is used instead, but since I didn't have any of that, felt works perfectly fine. You can leave it out if you want to, but the brim will just be more floppy. After cutting two of those pieces out, I'm just going to set it aside and grab the two wider curves. All I need to do is flip them good side to good side and sew the sides together. But there is a key to this that I usually don't mention in other videos, and that's the seam allowance. With these patterns, you have to leave a quarter of an inch seam allowance everywhere. Trust me, I did a ton of math to make these patterns. A quarter inch seam allowance will ensure everything lines up nicely. After sewing a straight stitch down each side, it should look like this, and I'm just going to turn it inside out. And I just want to line this up good side to good side with this circle piece. It's going to look kind of weird and be pretty tricky to pin these two together, but as I went along I realized I should have just had this turned inside out, so that's what I do here and that makes it a lot easier. Now it actually does look like you're putting a hat together, but inside out. Once I've pinned everything, I'm going to use a straight stitch to sew around this entire edge, making sure to leave a quarter inch seam allowance as I go. Now that did not quite go as planned for me, I had a little bit extra sticking out, but it looked fine in the end, so just do whatever you have to do to make sure they line up. Now I can set that aside and work on my brim pieces. The first thing to do is flip them good side to good side with each other and sew together those straight edges. Make sure to leave a quarter inch seam allowance here as well. After that, the next thing to do is lay them all together in a way where the felt piece is sandwiched between the fabric. So I'm starting by laying the fabric pieces good side to good side, making sure to line up the sewn together seams, and then I need to add the felt piece on top of that. I know it's tempting to just want to add it to the inside, but since this is going to get turned inside out, it will end up in between the fabric layers in the end. Now I can pin all the layers together and sew a straight stitch around the entire thing. After that, I can just turn the whole thing inside out. Try to push the edges out as close to the seam as possible. Now this next part is key. Whatever side of the brim is closest to that felt insert is now the good side of the brim. Watching out for this just makes sewing it all together a lot easier. Now I can finally connect the hat and the brim pieces, laying the edges good side to good side. I quickly realized this is much easier to do when the bad side of the brim is facing you. Now I just need to pin around the entire thing. Luckily, the math I did for this pattern paid off because the two pieces fit together perfectly. After everything's pinned together, I can sew a straight stitch around the entire thing with a quarter inch seam allowance like always. After that, all that's left is to add a few more details, and for me that's going to be adding a top stitch right where I sewed the brim to the hat, and that'll kind of seal in that inside edge. And I'm going to be adding two circles of stitching to the brim, and that'll kind of press down into that felt and give it a nice texture. Almost all bucket hats have this kind of stitching. And after that, it should look like this. I know the stitching isn't too noticeable, but it does kind of seal in all those layers of the brim and presses into it nicely. Now, here's when I realized this was way too big for a Beanie Boo because it just covers her entire face. But I did redo this pattern to be smaller, so the ones I have linked in the description box should fit correctly. I did actually find a stuffed animal whose head fits this perfectly. I know she didn't end up in the intro, but this did end up fitting her head really well. Even if it doesn't completely cover a stuffed animal's head, I still think it's really cute when stuffed animals wear little hats, so I will definitely be putting this on all my stuffed animals. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a like to help it reach more people, and definitely share this to whoever you think might be interested in making this. Keep on commenting any video requests you have. You all have so many great ideas, and I'm still working through that list. Also, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. I'll see you next time!